Hey guys, it's Jake with the Buckeye Bushcraft Channel back here again with another video. And what we're going to be doing today is making a bushcraft style candle, so stay with us. Okay, so you're really going to need a couple things to make this candle. You're going to need a piece of wood that is roughly two to three inches in diameter. This one's a little bit on the small side, but it'll work. Four to five inches in diameter would really be better, and about six, seven inches long. Next, you're going to need some sort of lard or some sort of fat. You can use animal fat, tallow, whatever. I just have lard straight from the house, but animal fat will work just as well. You're going to need to use something as a fuel. You're going to need some type of dried bark. This is what we're going to use for our wick. And then you're going to need some type of cordage. I just have number 36 bank line. Okay, so first what we need to do is we need to take our knife and we need to quarter this thing up. So we're going to split it four ways all the way down. Be sure that those splits are nice and straight and they do not start to split out on you. Now we're gonna take these two halves and split these in half. Okay, so now that you have four pieces, what you need to do is just kind of line these pieces up just like this and take some sort of saw. I'm just going to use the saw on my Swiss Army knife and on each piece we're going to go down about an inch and a half, two inches from the bottom and just saw and about halfway through that. And we're going to do this on every piece. And really, to be honest with you, it's best to line this stuff up and to make sure that it's pretty well straight. Okay, so whenever you have a saw curve cut into each piece, you want to come over to the side that has the most distance from the saw curve to the end. And you're just going to baton that piece down to that saw curve, just like that. After you do that, you should have four pieces that look like this. What this is going to do is whenever we put this together, this is going to create a shelf on the bottom, basically. Okay, so once you get all those pieces together, you can kind of see what we're going for here. There's no gap on the bottom, but on the inside, there's a nice concavity that we can fill with our animal fat or lard or tallow or whatever we have. So now what we need to do is take our bank line, whip from here to the bottom, and then from about right here up to the top. We'll be sure that it is stable and that it will not come apart on us while the candle is burning. So while we're holding this together, we're just gonna take our bank line, just make a loop, just like this, put it over the top and just start coming around, keeping it tight, everything, keeping everything lined up. You need to you go through and pinch this together close those little gaps up and when you're doing this you want to make sure that no lines are crossing while you're doing this whipping because if you because if that happens it will start to come loose on you it won't be nice and tight so we're towards the end of our bank line as you can see We've got this loop sticking up right here. We've got this tag in down here. We're gonna take the rest of our bank line and just run it through the back side of this loop, just like this. Again, double check everything. Make sure everything is good and tight. Nothing's loose. Just like that. And then just take this tag in and start to pull this bank line down through your whipping. And it might be a little tough. You wanna pull it to about the middle. As you can see everything is nice and tight. Just take your knife, trim the ends of it off, 
You can melt these ends if you wanted to. I'm not really gonna worry about it. I don't really think that it's a huge deal. So now we're gonna do the same thing towards the top of this. So next what you wanna do is you wanna take some type of bark or natural material, something like that. This one right here has, happens to be aspen bark. You can either reverse wrap two ply this or you can braid it, either one, do like a three ply braid. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna do a reverse wrap two ply. And this is a pretty thick reverse wrap two ply. You see, we've got our reverse wrap two ply quarters done. It is pretty thick, so it doesn't have to be this thick. It just happens to be the way that I made it. So, like I said, you can either do a reverse wrap two ply or you can do a braid. Okay, so we've got our container made for our candle. We have our wick made. You can see how this is kind of going to go. This wick actually might be a little bit thick. I might have to make a little bit of a thinner one. Okay, so I went ahead and made a little bit of a smaller wick. This one was just a little bit too big to use for this. So we've got our wick, our container for our lard and stuff. So all we need to do now is just take our lard and just kind of start filling our container up. Just like this. You kind of use a stick or something to push it down in there. Take our wick, go ahead and drop it down in there, push it down with a stick or something. We need to, we can just go ahead and use our fingers. Doesn't hurt anything. This part right here can get kind of messy. So just to forewarn you. Once we have our container filled up, you can see I've already lit this once and it is filled up completely with lard. Everything's good to go. There's no cracks on the bottom of it, anything like that. We just need to light it now, the first time you light this, it's kind of going to take a minute. That way you can start drawing up the lard. So once you light this and get it going once, it's pretty good. It'll be, it'll light up just like a normal candle would. Okay, so you can see that our flame has gotten bigger. It's starting to really draw the lard up into the wick now. But this thing is virtually windproof. It's really hard to blow it out and it burns for a pretty long time. There you go guys, that's a pretty simple and easy way to make a bushcraft candle. Like I said, it's virtually windproof. This is a really cool, fun little project that you can do just sitting around camp, hanging out, doing whatever. Like I said, you don't need actual lard. It's just what I had. You can use any type of animal fat, tallow, things like that. It'll work just fine. Now, I will say this. I actually learned this from a friend of mine, Dave Canterbury. He's the one who actually showed me how to do this. So full credit goes to him. I did not come up with this at all, but I thought it was really cool. I figured I'd make a video on it because it's something that I have never really seen before. Well, guys, I'm Jake with the Buckeye Bushcraft Channel. Appreciate you guys joining me for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Buckeye underscore Bushcraft. If you want some really cool Buckeye Bushcraft merch, go to UglyTent.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.